Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This week, we're gonna talk about what to put on your feet when there's snow and ice on the trail. Cause let's face it, winter's coming. Stick around. It is late fall in the Adirondacks and every single year around this time we get a thousand questions. Uh, should I bring my micro spikes? Should I bring my snowshoes? And so I decided to put together this video to talk about the stuff that works for me when winter's here. Cause there's snow and ice on the mountains already guys. In the video, we're gonna talk about micro spikes, crampons, and snowshoes. Um, I will show you each of the things that I use, tell you why I use them and how they've worked for me. Um, in no way am I sponsored by any of the, the brands or manufacturers of these things. Uh, I'm just telling you about them because they've worked so well for me so far. My first go-to piece when there's ice on the trail are my micro spikes. These are the Hillsound brand. There are other kinds, other brands out there like uh, Catula. Um, those are the two big ones. There are some off-brands I would recommend maybe uh, spending the extra money and actually getting either the Hill Sounds or the Cthulhu's. Um, these things are fantastic. You've probably seen them in, in a number of my videos already. Uh, I've had them for three or four years now. I've never had a single problem with them other than the problems I cause myself. And what's that mean? Well, I carry them and then I wait too long to put them on. <laughs> Uh, a lot of times we'll be walking down the trail and uh, you'll start to see some ice and uh, me being stubborn and thick-headed sometimes, I decide I'll just walk on the ice. And by the time we get through it, I go, hmm, probably should have put my spikes on. So uh, thankfully I haven't been hurt, but uh, I'm getting better at actually preemptively putting the spikes on when I notice that the trail is going to be slippery or um, I, I need some extra traction. Um, these, they go on very simple, very easy. Let me show you how to do it. Get them situated like this. Uh, I should note, this is a size 13 boot. These are extra large Hill Sound um, micro spikes. So uh, I always start at the front, slide it on there. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt. A lot more leaf litter than normal. But you just pull it up and around. Goes right on your boot like that. Hill sounds come with this very cool little strap to make sure that they don't slip off your feet. And that's it, man. Perfect. These are about a three quarter inch spike. They grip into the ice um, very well. I, they're awesome. And hill sounds are great because you can actually sharpen these tips um, yourself or have somebody do it for you. They're awesome. Hill sounds. This is my first uh, line of defense against slippery trails. Let's talk about uh, the other options I've got. So while I prefer my micro spikes, some folks actually prefer crampons. Um, crampons are a little bit more aggressive than your micro spikes. Uh, they have about an inch, inch and a half spike on them. They also have these two front toe spikes. So uh, if you're doing some serious wintering, a uh, winter mountaineering, um, and you're climbing up uh, very steep icy sections, these are actually probably a preferred choice. These are the Hillsound uh, Trail Crampon Pro. And admittedly, these ones are not mine. I wanna thank Dan for letting me borrow them for the video. Um, they don't actually fit my feet, so I can't show you how to put them on. But uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. You have an adjustable thing here so that um, I think they go up to probably a size 12. Like I said, my boot is a size 13. Um, you put your front of your toe in here, put this around the back of your toe, and these are very cool. So to uh, t attach these, you feed this into the clip here, uh, teeth up, and this is very cool. Um, if you have gloves on, it's perfect. You just yank this up and it wrenches everything tighter. You've got one on each side. Really straightforward, really simple. Um, 
great design. Again, uh, these are the Hillsound Trail Crampon Pros, and uh, they give you a more aggressive bite. Again, you can file these down and sharpen them up, make sure they're uh, nice and good for your ice climbing. Last, but certainly not least, we've got snowshoes. Now, in New York State, uh, in the Adirondacks and the Catskills, the rule is if there's eight inches or more of snow on the ground, you have to wear your snowshoes. Um, that prevents a lot of injury. Um, if you're bare booting on that much snow and you actually sink in, you could break an ankle, break a knee. Um, you could have a, a pretty bad accident. And the last thing you want to do is get stuck with uh, a major injury like that in the winter time in the middle of the backwoods. So um, be smart and bring your snowshoes with you. Now these are the Atlas 1230s. Um, these are the snowshoes I've had for the last four years and they've worked really well. Now uh, I'm a bigger guy so my weight plus the pack uh, I would need a bigger snowshoe um, to float on top of the snow. Uh, but technically, I think most of the trails that I go on in the wintertime are already broken out. So I could go with a smaller snowshoe. Um, I just, I'm not spending the money right now because these are perfect and they work great. Um, but yeah, let me show you how to put these ones on. This is what I do. These are great. I love the Atlas binding because it's just this pull, nice snug tight. And then uh, there's a pull tab on the other side right here so that you can tighten it up around the back of your heel. Perfect. When you're going uphill, you got heel risers. So it kind of keeps your foot on a level plane regardless of the slope of the mountain. These are the snowshoes. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a short one today, but I think it's very important. It covers an important topic, and uh, it gives you at least a little bit of a heads up and a view into what I use um, every winter. What I would recommend is if it's between the months of October and April, and you ask yourself, Hmm, do I need my micro spikes or my snowshoes? The answer is yes, just bring them. Um, Cause you wanna be safe, you wanna be smart and you wanna have a good time in the back country and uh, you don't have any issues. So uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could like, comment, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends and family, that'd be awesome. But most importantly, get outside, do something awesome every single day. We'll see you next week.